Hello and welcome to QQ Catalyst. Today's class is going to focus on the topics of how to process your direct bill commission downloads and a general overview of the download section as we go along. Here in the direct bill commission section you will see a list of completed items, those statements that we were able to find a match for every line item on the statement. So every customer and policy listed on the statement we found a match for and the system was able to process the reconciliation all on its own. Any that are failed will come into the failed section just like with the other policy update information if you have failed transactions you might want to give our support department a call to see if they can help resolve those issues. And any direct bill commission downloads that are still in a pending status will be in the need matching area. The reason that these were not able to process on their own is because at least one item on the statement does not have a match in the system. Just like before, we can click on the green arrow to get some additional information on the transactions here. So what you're seeing here is a list of every line item on the statement. We can see the status indicating whether we were able to find a complete match and this is ready to process, or if something is holding up the process as not finding a matching policy or a matching customer, for example. I can click on the status link to get additional information about this one line item on the statement. Seeing additional information such as the carrier, the line of business, the policy, the commissionable premium, and the commission rate that the carrier was sending us as well as the commission for this item on the statement. You can use this information here to help you locate this policy in your system to see why you're having an issue with the matching or to find out if the policy exists or not. If you need to access a print only copy of this statement still you do have the print option here. I can click on this to download a hard copy of the statement to my computer and I can open that up to view the print only copy. So you still have access to this if you do need to go in and manually reconcile anything or just to have a copy for your records. When I'm able to have the system find a match for every item on the statement, the policy not found or the red status here that's indicating we could not complete this statement will change to look something like this, ready to complete. So this one here, if I click on the green arrows, you'll see that we have a ready to complete status for every item on the statement. And when I click on the carrier's name, I can begin the reconciliation process. This will redirect me to the reconciliation screen. So here we are brought to the reconciliation screen for the statement that we just started processing. You'll notice that the paid now amount pre-fills based on the information the carrier sent us. We can see any balance that might be left over. And if we need to make any changes to the information here, if our commission was set up incorrectly, I don't need to exit and navigate back to the specific policy to make changes to the agency's commission that's set up there. If I see here, for example, that we have a negative balance left over, I might want to double check the commission rule. Maybe I know that my commission rule should be set at 10%. The carrier statement says 10%. So I can click on the due amount here to bring up the agency commission that we have set on this policy. It should be at 10% according to our statement. I can see the system was set up at 9%. So maybe one of our commission rules is defaulting to an incorrect amount, and we might need to review that commission rule in the Commission Central. But here I can make the change on the fly and worry about changing the default rule later. So we can now see that we have a zero balance for every item here. The paid now, as I said, will pre-fill because the carrier is sending the information of what they're paying you. So all you really need to do is verify accuracy in this step and click Next. So this is for our training main office location, the transaction date, date of the statement there, and the payment method. Maybe this was an EFT. I can change the method if I need to. If we got a check, I can indicate check number. And if there's any non-policy commission to enter, it would be calculated on the statement since this is being sent by the carrier. So if you were getting any commission for things like bonuses for your agency that weren't directly tied to policy commission, you might find that listed here as well, and the total amount paid would be indicated. I can click Finish to finish the reconciliation. The system will generate me a reconciliation report. That statement will be removed from my Need Matching section and it will be put into the completed section under my direct bill commission downloads. So I can print the reconciliation report from here and a copy of this report is automatically filed in the files tab under the specific carrier that it's for. 
And back on our need matching area, we can see that item has been removed from the bottom, and it should now be on our completed list. And I can still access the print-only copy from here if I need to.